So some of you guys commented in one of my videos and asked how I make my thumbnails for YouTube. So in this video, we're going to be going over on how I make them and how simple it is because yeah, it's pretty simple. You don't need, uh, you don't need Blender. It's pretty simple. You don't need to go to Roblox Studio to like, I guess, pose your avatar and everything I'm using is absolutely for free. So let's get on with the video. By the way, leave a like and subscribe and let's get started. So I'm sure this is common for most people who make thumbnails, but we usually like to use Photopea and yeah, this is a really good software. This is free. You can just use the website. There are no apps needed to use this and I'll send you guys the link as well Why do I keep saying send? I'll put this link in the description. There we go That's a better way to say it. oh my god And all you got to do is simply press new project yeah, and um, you don't really need to like mess around with these But as long as it looks like this you're fine and don't forget to make this transparent and create So as you can see it looks a bit complicated at first with all these random text bars here By the way, I haven't even used some of these before but my go-to way of making thumbnails is basically to just go to file and open and place and yeah it will show your search bar so what you should do first is you should find an image somewhere in chrome where you can you know you can use that as a background or something you can use for your thumbnails so i already have a picture here for my uh thumbnail which is basically photo p <laughs> okay i'm not gonna lie this is kind of weird <laughs> photo p and photo p hilarious so yeah i'm just gonna do that and if you haven't even caught on to it yet uh yeah i'm gonna make the thumbnail for this video for the tutorial of this video so after i put the background i usually just go straight to roblox and go to catalog avatar creator yeah you can go to catalog avatar creator rather than going all the way to um what was it called studio yeah you don't need to go to roblox studio so i'll show you guys in a bit all right so first thing you gotta do basically what i do first is i like i guess change the face of my robust character so like uh, it shows expressions and here look watch this see i use one of those so uh here i saved some faces already for this video i have this i also have this face which i used in my previous video yeah there it is it looks pretty cool but i've already decided what face i should use which is this one the silly happy face i used in my polydash video and uh now what do you do next well basically i go to effects pose editor right over here so now you can basically style your avatar now so now think of how your like i guess your robust avatar wants to pose so for this one i'm gonna be like i guess the robust avatar will point to the background which is photo p so i'm gonna make it look like that but i'm also gonna put some stuff so i'll start by i guess moving the hand a bit then no, not like that. Red for like that. There, like that. And then I also adjust parts of it as well, like this. I'm gonna also put like this, like that, so like there's more life to the character. I Actually, I think it's better if we like, I guess, do like this. Let's put like this. <laughs> Ah, there we go. I just got to put it the opposite direction. Now it looks uh, it looks better, I guess. So there we go. This is, I guess, the pose for our character. So now what I'm going to do, this is what I do next. So I guess what I usually do, what I do is I put it in max graphics. It's going to lag a bit, but it doesn't really matter. Put it on max graphics. And whew, that's a beautiful picture right there. And then just print screen that. And then I just, you know. I, I get it from the picture and I save it. Now put it back. I'm lagging. Oh my god. And now we can go back to Photo P and I'll show you the rest. And now we're back in Photo P. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open in place and then I'll place my Roblox avatar right over, <clears throat> right over there. Apologize. And here we go. I guess we can do, hmm. So how do I want to do this? So basically just put your Roblox avatar anywhere. Like I guess over here. Okay. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to leave it like that. And then now, what I want you guys to do is go to this one over here, the rectangle, 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 select. Oh my god, how, I couldn't say that properly. Okay, now, all you got to do is right click, and then go to magic cut. And then this is where the best part happens. So, also, wait, actually, no, this isn't really the best part. This is also one of, like, the most stressful parts, because if you mess up, it's kind of hard to bring it back but anyway now just uh make sure you figure figure this out so so green is the one is the part where you want to get like you want to include it in the picture and then red is the one where you don't want it to be included so let's say the blue one it's gone see so let's just quickly erase that because i do not want i want that to be part and now i just go over to the parts here that need to be included i don't know why it's like this uh okay and there we go actually wait nope not done yet bang Oh no, it's not. Oh my god, why is there borders here of the red? 
like that's one of the things I always face whenever I do these kind of things. Okay, and here's another one as well because it's covering this part of the hair. There we go. We're done. It's that simple. And bam. And now what I do is I double click this over here and I go to, let me just move this a bit. So uh, I go to, sh I press stroke right there. So yeah, you can see the stroke, but I usually go for the color white and there we go. So now my usual size is 10 and there. Okay, so don't worry about this one because I'm going to put another thing here that can work. So I searched up my comic explosion thing, which I assume you guys might know, which is this over here. So how do I put this behind it even though it's in the front? Well, here's what this is what I do. So I I guess I put it like this right there. Okay, I think that works. I'm just assuming, all right? And then I put it over here behind the character. And there, as you can see, it works, and you can even see some parts of it, which is great. Nice. Okay, I like where this is going. I'm surprised it's actually going well. And then I also put a stroke in that, because why not? <laughs> and I'm also going to try to find a picture of photo P, I guess. And uh, yeah, there it is, right there. So I guess I will find a picture of that. To be honest, I don't even want the PNG. I want to find the one with, like, bro. Where's the one with the, there, everything, every single, okay. This is better, way better. We're just going to save it. I don't really care, I don't want to deal with that anymore, so we're going to go back to open in place, and there we go. And now we can put this somewhere here, so I'm thinking of just putting it, like, I guess, right here. And then I will put this over here, bam, right there. But now I'm going to put a text, I'm going to put a text right here. And just to let you know, the font I'm using is Luckiest Guy, which looks like this. You know, like, it's the typical, uh, what do you call that? It's the typical font used for thumbnails, just to let you know. So now, I'm going to go to, what color is good? I guess we'll make it, like, uh, photo P colors. We're going to make the size of this around, I guess, 100, usually like that. Okay, that'll do. <clears throat> you want that'll do. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to make it a bit eye-catching, eye I guess. A bit eye-catchy. Then I'll put it right over here. So, photo P... Okay, and then I will save that. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put the stroke here as well. And photo P, photo P tutorial. There we go. That works pretty well. And put the stroke in as well. And there we go. I guess this can be the thumbnail. It actually, it looks pretty good for now. And by the way, here's another tip for you guys. So let's say you guys mess up. You put like, let's say a duplicate photo P logo and uh, you can't exactly delete it. So here's what you here's what you can do, which is basically to press this and it will be gone and you can put it back anytime you want. <laughs> if necessary, of course. So yeah, that's basically the thumbnail. And now what I want you guys to do is to go to file, export as PNG, make sure it's a PNG. And here we go, save. There we go. New project and we're done. So that's basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys like are able to make thumbnails now because of it. It's also faster as well. You don't need to go to Blender. You don't need to go to a uh, studio. You can just go to Catalog Avatar Creator, which is pretty good. Pretty good. It's a good thing they have that. And you know what? If you guys want, I'll do another behind the scenes video if this video reaches 20 likes. 20 likes and I'll show you guys how I edit my video so yeah stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you guys can make thumbnails <laughs> see ya